Okay, let's talk equation of state. What this means is that every object, whether it's a bolus of gas like a balloon, or whether it's a chair sitting in the office or the home, or whether it's a brick that you use to build a house, or whether it's a block of gold that uh, you like to keep in your closet just in case. All materials, all objects, once you define your system, turns out for that system there's a governing what we call equation of state. Now, this equation of state, first of all, is what we call extra thermodynamic information. That means thermodynamics does not derive it, but thermodynamics does use it. The most uh, famous equation of state is probably one you might have heard of before for an ideal gas, which is pressure times volume, PV, equals nRT, where n is the number of moles of the gas, R is the universal gas constant, and T is temperature. Um, that type of equation of state can be generalized into a functional form that says that uh, volume, temperature, and pressure of your system are related to each other by some mathematical equation. In the case of an ideal gas, it's pretty simple. PV equals nRT. In the case of uh, a brick, it might be something much more complicated. Maybe you even need a lookup table like in Excel to know what the relationships are among the pressure, volume, and temperature. But nevertheless, there exists a function for every system that you define that relates pressure, volume, and temperature. So if you know two of those for your system, you can always get the third. If you know pressure and volume, you know what its temperature must be. If you know its temperature and pressure, you know what its volume must be. An equation of state. Thermodynamics makes use of it, but it comes from outside thermodynamics, extra thermodynamic. The ideal gas is the prototypical equation of state. And for many real gases, the ideal gas law uh, equation stays actually pretty accurate to something 1% or better, as long as you stay at pressures that are equivalent to one atmosphere or 10 atmospheres, um, change considerably as you go to, to higher pressures that can be in uh, engines and other combustion devices. But PV equals NRT is actually a pretty good equation of state. Um, it, it was derived for gases. It was derived from, uh, well, in the 1660s, Boyle, uh, he observed that uh, for a given gas, uh, pressure and volume were constant as long as temperature was held the same. So we would recognize that today as PV equals a constant, nRT, when T is constant. Um, the second component of, of that uh, was uh, in the uh, first part of the 1800s, uh, Charles, um, Charles Law, he observed that the uh, volume of the gas was proportional to its temperature, uh, so long as uh, pressure was held constant. And so if you put those two things together, you get PV equals nRT. Uh, for real gases, you can start to modify that a little bit. It can be uh, something like uh, PV equals nRT uh, plus alpha where alpha is kind of an empirical correction for a real gas. Um, there can be other forms, but they all are the same basic functional relation, um, uh, which we can write as a function of uh, P, V, and T equals zero. So for example, P, V minus NRT equals zero. Um, the equations get more complicated, even get what we call more empirical, meaning you have to make measurements, um, and then uh, maybe you can fit them to an equation that has some coefficients in it, or maybe you have to uh, put them in a lookup table, like an Excel spreadsheet, but all materials have this relation of an equation of state, and we can then call on that equation of state when we're doing thermodynamics, when we're interested in governing equations among pressure, volume, and temperature. Now, for the equation of state, often using it in its full differential form is helpful. Uh, for the uh, ideal gas, then, we just take the full uh, differential, which will be V, times the change in P, dP, plus P, times the change in dV, and uh, moles of gas, we don't change. Uh, closed system, uh, gas constant doesn't change, dT. We'll make use of this uh, differential form in some examples. So both forms, the full form, meaning at when you know uh, the pressure and the volume, get the temperature, or when you know the temperature and the volume, you can get the pressure permutations there, the full form, but also 
when you have an ongoing change, changes in pressure, volume, and temperature, the differential form can also be used in thermodynamic applications. Of course, both of the use and when to use those uh, 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 is context dependent. You have to see some examples, but just to know that there are two forms that are often helpful uh, uh, in, in calculations. Now, common sense of the everyday world around us, we know something about typical equations of states for typical objects or typical systems. Um, we know that when uh, uh, pressure is applied, volume typically decreases, compression. Um, there are some interesting materials where if you apply pressure in three directions, yes, the, the volume decreases, but maybe in one direction it actually increases, but those are interesting and exotic materials. Typically applying pressure just leads to compression, uh, volume reduction in every direction, uh, isotropic. Uh, uh, temperature, typically if you apply uh, a temperature, um, then uh, volume increases. Um, there are some exceptions to this, what we call uh, negative thermal expansion. Um, it's rare, but in some materials, the uh, volume actually uh, decreases as you uh, uh, increase uh, the temperature. One example is water from 0 Celsius to 4 Celsius, where when you uh, 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 heat it, its volume actually goes down across that. So its density goes up. And that's why at the bottom of the ocean, uh, you don't find water that's zero degrees Celsius, it's four degrees Celsius, because that's the uh, 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 temperature of highest density. Above four degrees Celsius, higher temperatures, uh, water then uh, expands again and its density starts to go uh, down. So in review, every system or, or object, if the object is our system, every system has an equation of state. It's extra thermodynamic information, meaning from thermodynamics we don't know the governing equation, but uh, if we're given that information, for example, PV equals NRT or some other equation of state, then we can always relate pressure, volume, and temperature uh, as we do thermodynamic calculations using that extra thermodynamic information, the equation of state. Akambu.